Hello, hi, how are you today? Are you feeling a bit disgruntled, a little cranky? Sometimes you might wake up and you tell yourself, I can't do this anymore, or I can't do this today, or I don't wanna do this anymore. You're gonna have those moments on the journey. Why would you feel like that? Because it just gets like that. Sometimes this just seems to go really long and it sometimes can seem like there's no end in sight. We are coming into some really big changes and there is a lot of, I know that sounds really vague. I hate to be vague. I wanna give you specifics. I had some really good specifics in my class over the weekend from some people participating. There was a woman who uh, described two friends of her separately to, she bumped into two of these friends when she be, went back to her country that these friends each said that they had met someone significant. One of the persons literally said uh, in that language, I met my other half, met him on a bus and there it was, you know, uh, for her, this was really good news. In many ways, this is the direction of the energy is to push people away from old things and move them into not just new situations, but perhaps a better relationship. For those of us on the twin flame journey, you have an activation of marma points within you. And that activation means that you're intended to be with the true proper person that matches you, has not just an energetic match, but the exact matching, etheric body, marma points. And this is why some people get a little bit feeling like I'm out, I don't wanna do this anymore, pissed off. I mean, these are natural feelings. What if there were a way, okay? One of the things that also came up as a question during the class, and this is something that I've been teaching, and this is something that I myself do. I found that I had to have a certain routine. I had to fit in this stuff. I even got some feedback from my brother once when I sent him some of my material. He was struggling with something and I sent him something and I thought I was gonna get some good man feedback. What I got was, I'm a little too busy. Aha. Uh -huh. I did take that, not as a criticism, but some constructive material for me to tweak my material and make it very concise for busy people. Now, granted, there's an awful lot of people who feel like they've become dysfunctional on the journey. They can't work and they can't, you know, do anything else. They think they should be a healer or something else, but somehow they're not sure. And they wind up in sort of a limbo. Some people even quit their jobs prematurely. I do not recommend preemptively quitting your job, especially if it is a good job. There is a way. So what if there were a way for you to continue. The key is to make new foundations. Now, this actually came to me in 2017 initially, where I almost felt like I had crested the mountain and there I was, right? I had crested the mountain. I didn't really plan to rest on my laurels, but I was like so happy. I'm like, surely this is the pinnacle. And what I found was it was not it was not. It was a pinnacle of a kind. And later I learned to compare it to maybe climbing Mount Everest, where you get to that first 10,000 foot base camp and you have to acclimate. And it's that simple. You're acclimating to something. But you're creating new foundations at a new level. And what are the things that you would need to do? Well, I have actually created a book to let you know and to help you and I'm gonna go over what it has in it. It does have an introduction. There's an introduction of me, and if this is new to you, please welcome. Welcome to your twin flame journey. We're here to help. This is what I specifically help people with is their twin flame journey. Twin flame soulmate situations, a lot of health things that come up, purging, all the ascension symptoms, and much more because it includes getting people spirited again so they can have a livelihood. Every single part of you, every single part of you from your soul 
your soul wants you to be healthy and well and loved and have companionship. That is how it is. We're not intended to just, you know, die in the old ways. The energy has shifted too many times and it is moved. So we talk about the twin flame process and the journey. Now, the good thing about having this in a book form is you can refer to it. I give you some breakdowns and characteristics. You know, how would you know certain things? The stages of ascension. There are major stages of ascension. Not everybody is through them. Not everyone is at the same vibration. Not everyone is going at the same speed. Not everyone can. Everyone can read a book, though. Plus the minor phases. So if you're going through something, you can refer to this and see, am I in one of these minor phases? Is this accurate for being on track with my journey? You can uh, refer to this again and again and learn and then discern because you will learn some discernment which you need to have for yourself. So this is truly empowering you. Breakups, all kinds of breakups. The ego breakup is one of the worst. It's very painful. I know how to get you through the pain. What is an ego breakup? Well, it, and I have that in the book. It's characterized by a lot of anxiety here, uh, sometimes panic attacks. It'll feel like your heart is broken. Good news. When it's just a soulmate, your heart can't possibly break. Your ego breaks. So I talk about those kind of breakups, how to recognize them. And we talk about sensations and your new twin flame body. There is a new structure. There's five main subtle bodies. I have that information in there. You have numerous Marma points. My book has some diagrams in it. All my books do. We talk about ascension in other new levels. So here is the meat, as I like to say. Because there's no point in just talking and talking unless you're learning how to do things. So I give you a daily routine outline. Now maybe some days you're not, you know, you have some other things come up, you can't follow it. But in essence, you are learning how to navigate by having your routine that fits in your work. When people say the work, you can't be a weekend warrior about it. You have to have a daily a daily, daily routine. Daily. That's why it says daily. <laughs> that means every single day, maybe with a few days in exception. But here's what you will find. Those days where you feel like, I don't want to do this anymore, because of your routine, your routine helps you to gain the energy, okay, the 5D energy, so that you are capable to do the next things. Because there will be next things in your journey. And ultimately, there will be that person on your journey. A majority of people are in a mode that I would describe as in separation. Okay? They describe it as in separation. Some people are like, I'm in union, I'm in separation. Well, there are a lot of minor phases with all of those. So in some ways, I sometimes have seen that people who are in separation have the upper hand they don't have a partner by them to clean up after, but they do have uh, the upper hand in terms of being able to do the work and have the proper guidance without muddling things up with things like arguments and, I don't know, convincing people in conversations. Okay, Open your crown chakra. Why would you do that? And because it's for two of you. You actually have levels of your crown chakra. Didn't know that maybe, but you do. You have a level that, you know, to put it simply, is maybe for your daily living, day in and day out, that funnels in your intelligence, your much higher intelligence, enhances your personality, communicates with your immune system. But you have other levels for much higher states, such as when you're meditating, such as when you are going to create the communing state in 5D and you want to be able to interpret it in any symbology that is there, any messages for yourself because it begins happening. Channel opening, breath work. If you don't begin opening your channels in the upper body, you're going to feel stuck, 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 stuck. And sometimes you wind up feeling really terrible. You don't feel sick enough to go to a hospital, 
but you can feel very uh, fatigued, flatten your energy, get your channels open. So I have the primer in there to help you do that. How to create the communing state in 5D. That is a big one. That is a number one thing that couples together always forget or couples together never even know because they don't know how to do it or they're not talking about it or something. They're talking about a lot of 3D stuff like how they learn to get along. This takes care of that stuff in a really delightful way because this is the equivalent of setting off all of your serotonins, endorphins, and setting you up for the day. Daily routine, okay. I also include what not to do because over the years, and working with thousands of people all over the world, I have learned that there are just some things that people maybe should have an eye opener about, like a little heads up, like heads up, what are, I have a list in there of things, what not to do. And that's important because a lot of people kind of, you know, they hope for this so much. They hope for love. Hope is a good thing. Love is a fabulous thing. But if you are having trouble figuring it out or learning, you know, how to discern, maybe it'll help you to have a list of what not to do, okay? And it is intended to be helpful, not critical. I do sessions. I do one-on-one -on -one sessions. I have webinars, and I actually have, this is actually uh, the first book in a series of six books that are all intended to help you with your foundation. So this you could maybe consider as sort of like book one. And on my website, I have the other ones and they do go in a sequence, okay? Think of these like Legos, okay? One Lego by itself, yeah, it'll help you. You know, you could see the little Lego there, but you put all the Legos together and you are going to really have something. You're gonna have built something within you, you'll have expanded, have a twin flame reconnection session with me and really feel what this is supposed to feel like, especially if you are feeling like I'm out. I hope that you continue. I hope that I can help you give this, get you the strength to continue because that is one of my specialties is getting people reconnected so that they feel strength and love emanating to them from another level and you know why would you be ticked off you don't have to stay stuck shift it with my materials with a session and let's do some things here thank you so much have a good day please like and subscribe and share my videos it means a lot if you have questions please email me because um, the comment section really isn't a forum. I do appreciate comments. Um, but if you have a, a question that you would like an answer on, um, you can email me or better yet, have a session or join my webinar. Bye now.